When Solomon built the temple, after he built the temple, the church of God, one of the prayers he prayed, Lord, let it be that when there is trouble in the land, that when the people come into the church to pray, they hear them. Are you following what I'm saying? When there is trouble in the land, the place to go for solution is church. So when you tell people not to go to church, it is a problem. It's a serious problem. I'm going to pray every agent of the devil that is behind this thing. Lord, release your judgment upon them. Let them know. Deal with them. Let them know that it's because of the evil that they are doing. That is why the evil, this evil is befalling them. Whoever that is behind it, God punish the devil. You say through true transmission is this thing, my dear. If that is actually the truth, if that is actually true, by now of force, on everyone should be dead by now. When you go to town, you see the traffic of, of people. There is no social distance or distancing in town. I about other nations, other African nations. They recorded some kind of number of COVID-19 up to that they still church. I bought the nation. I don't know if now if they have, if they have uh, started lockdown. The, the nation of Tanzania, they have never did any lockdown. If this thing is actually whatever they call it, so by now, everyone in that country should be finished. Everyone should be finished. The devil is alive. It's an agenda of the devil. I'm going to pray. Please be praying for this country. The, the grip of Satan over this nation is something else. It's something else. It's something else. But we pray. This land, this nation belongs to God. It does not belong to the devil. Amen. It belongs to God. Amen. It belongs to God. And God will redeem this land from the hands of Satan. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Anyone, any agent of the devil in any office that is behind this thing. Look at, look at America. People are. People are gathering. The other day, about 70 something thousand people gathered in America to witness, uh, to view the, the uh, boxing, boxing competition between uh, one, uh, two young men. The other day, also in the UFC, about over 60, how many, 60, how many thousand people gathered together and said, Are you following what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We are saying, we are, we are. Now, oh my goodness, we need help in this country. If that's actually true, for example, what they're doing, it, it's, it's not. Now, God has revealed their level of incompetency. Since that time, you know, I was just struggling with this. What that country, what that country who are actually believing, they have done, they have taken, they to where they should be. And we are still struggling, struggling with this. That's the high level of incompetency. Making people to suffer. Shutting down people's destiny. Restricting. Giving people self-arrest or whatever they call it. Limiting people's movement. It is not of God. The Lord said to subvert a man of his cause, the Lord approve it not. The devil is in that. Anyone that is behind this, let the judgment of God come upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. They will not go scotch free. Anyone. They, whether they want to make money or they want to make a name or whatever they want to do or they are working for the devil. Lord, let's not of them go scotch free. Release your judgment upon them. Shut my father, my father. Shut my father and my God. As I pray now, every agent of the devil that is behind the lockdown against the church. As I pray now, release your judgment upon them now. Jesus! 
that the target is against the church. <laughs> Just a day after the announcement was made, EFM people gathered in numbers. Is that true? Come on, talk to me. Is that true? They gathered in numbers. No respect for this. About they even made it clear that they will not respect the level three lockdown. What is this even? <laughs> I was thinking by now, they have they supposed to have made thousand arrests by now. But I, my liver should be in prison or should be arrested by now. Huh? Now, also, they are waiting for the church. So, they, some of you start hearing from newspapers, they say, church that gather, they are carrying, they are connecting the pastor. They were waiting for the policemen that day. They were waiting, they were ready for the policemen to come and arrest them. Oh, we should bow. Amen. Anyone they have sight to harass the church, oh God, show to them that you are God. Amen. Release your judgment upon them. Anyone, anyone, whoever they have sight to harass the church of Jesus, Lord, release your judgment upon them. In the name of Jesus, the same way you did to hell, Lord. Say in the name of Jesus, shall my father be in heaven as we pray now. Every devil, every agent of the devil on assignment, assigned to harass the church, hiding on the coronavirus. As we pray now, release your judgment upon them. Release your judgment in the name. Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Lekado, rapato shiyeda, ikata pata maya tanda, kete ma susule, rakapa yande kugda zomaya ta, iya kata tanda nze iya tosha. Jesus, la pamba rapanda ti, jinsa kapa yando kundo zati brahara. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, of So the plan is out there. Because when the church, for example, now begin to, so no, we can't take this anymore. Then they will come up with another to say, hey, all these churches, they have problems, they are threats to our nation. Shuts down churches everywhere. God punish the devil. They will never succeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God frustrate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not when we can pray. If we can pray, God will always intervene. Amen. We pray may God intervene. You know how many churches have closed down? To start, you know what it means to start? To start a church, to set up a church, to build a church to an extent. You know, you know how many television stations, people that were on television, my wife was telling me about many TV stations that have shut down because of this thing. You know how long it took them to get there? These people, they will not go scotch free. Amen. God will destroy them, deal with them, judge them in the name of Jesus. Christ. Amen. God will say, do hand, join in hand. The wicked will never go unpunished. The wicked. That's what I'm sure it's because they don't know what church, what church stands for, what we represent. Hallelujah. We're representing Jesus. We're representing God. Anyone that touches us, touches God himself. If you're dealing with the Bible says some times ago, Saul was persecuting the church. He thought he was actually dealing with human beings until Jesus Christ knocked him off from the dog, from the dog, or from the ass that he was he was riding. So why are you persecuting me? The same God that knocked Saul out or knocked Saul off the donkey. May that same God knock them out from the power, the position that they are occupying, that they are using against the church. May that same God knock them off from that position. Amen. Whatever position that they think that they occupy, that they are that, 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 is, that they are drunk with. Hallelujah. The that they are drunk with, that they think that they can use it against the church anyhow. May God knock them off from that position in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what we have. As a matter of fact, already started. Hallelujah. God will knock them off. Amen. 
God will humble them. The same way God dealt with Nebuchadnezzar, who was full of himself. Forgot that there is a God that rules are, are in the affairs of men. That same God that humbled Nebuchadnezzar, may that God humble anyone, whether they are whether they are not aware or they are aware of whatever they are doing. May God humble them and humiliate them in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Father. People need to, they need to, they need to come to a point where they begin to fear church. That you don't just, you don't just eat and your, your food and eat up and just wake up and say, I want to go and deal with church. I want to do this one. May God deal with them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's why I really want to, I please advise us today. We must wake up to spirituality. Many of us were just too weak and that's why the things that are happening are happening. Elijah prayed. He dealt God dealt with Ahab through Elijah. Not because Elijah was a prophet, but because he was a spiritual man. He was a prayerful man. And that's what the Bible says. Elijah was a man subject to like passion. He prayed endlessly. If this Elijah was a prophet,